My name is Andrea and today I'm making Doritos casserole. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're gonna need a pound of ground beef. I am using lean ground beef. You're going to need a bag of Doritos. You can use whatever flavor you'd like. I happen to like nacho cheese. You're going to need some onions, cheddar cheese, garlic, a packet of taco seasoning, cream of chicken soup. Now I am using unsalted, that's just a personal preference. You don't have to use that of course. You'll need some fire roasted diced tomatoes and some diced green chilies. This is such a simple and delicious recipe and it's sure to become a favorite of your family and friends. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start off by browning our ground beef and onions. Okay, so my meat and onions have finished cooking. Now I'm just adding in that chopped garlic, garlic, excuse me, giving it a good stir and letting this cook for another minute. Next, I'm adding in my taco seasoning, my diced tomatoes, chopped green chilies, and my cream of chicken soup. And like I said, I'm using unsalted, I just feel like there's gonna be so much salt in this already from the taco seasoning and the Doritos and the cheddar cheese. Again, totally a personal preference. And you're just gonna give it a good stir to get everything all incorporated. And once you have everything all incorporated, you're gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. I took my meat mixture off the stove. I'm taking a third of that meat mixture and I am putting it at the bottom of a nine by 13 pan. Next, I'm gonna put some cheese on top of that first layer. And by the way, the recipe only calls for one and a third cups of cheese total. I'm using more than that. I um, grated an eight ounce block of cheese and I'm probably gonna use all of that. I would recommend that you grate your own cheese in this recipe, it's just gonna melt a lot better. Next, I'm gonna take half a bag of the Doritos, and I did crush them up in the bag. I'm gonna sprinkle half of the bag of Doritos right on top of that cheese. And you're just gonna repeat the layers again. Okay, so my casserole is ready for the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to cover the casserole with foil and let it bake for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so it's been about half an hour and I totally forgot that after 30 minutes, you're supposed to uncover this casserole and bake it for another 15, 20 minutes or so. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so here is the casserole. It just came out of the oven. You can see it's still bubbling away. I'm gonna let this cool for just a few minutes and then I'll get it plated up so you guys can check it out. Okay, so here is the casserole and I took out a slice. I did sprinkle a little bit of dried parsley on top just for some garnish. And here it is all plated up, serving it with a side of green beans. It would also be good with corn, um, it would also be delicious with salad or refried beans, anything like that. And I have garnished the top of the slice with a little bit of salsa and sour cream. I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy recipe. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy recipes that I will link in the description box. And I will also link the recipe there as well. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.